Hey guys, Coach here. I'm like any common man who enjoys taking care of their home. I like to wake up before the rest of the family does, pour a steaming hot cup of coffee, and I go to the front yard and I analyze the turf, see what needs to be better, especially on a weekend morning such as this. But today's a little bit different. I got something else on my mind. Today we're gonna do a recon mission on the two-time defending HOA neighborhood yard of the summer house. So stay tuned, stay with us. Good morning guys. Today's gonna be kind of a good day. Got a birthday party about four o'clock. So in essence, that leaves me a good chunk of time today on this Saturday uh, for some yard work. Um, what you'll uh, come to realize is when the, the lawn becomes your hobby, you've got to cut time. It's almost like you're trying to play golf or something. So you got to make time. you got to make sure your wife knows that, hey, this chunk of time is for the yard. And uh, that's what I'm doing. But this morning, I'm also doing something kind of cool. I'm gonna go do some recon on the competition. The yard I'm walking to is just about, about a half block down. There's the two-time defending champion. So as any good coach will do, I, I gotta scout out my competition. So I'm gonna go over there, kind of check it out. Act like I'm just walking in the morning, but I'm really just doing recon. See how I can win and dominate the neighborhood this year. So, yeah, it's gonna be fun. just a block down from this uh, house that I'm going to do my recon on, but now I'm walking by another house. Um, it's one of my favorite houses in the neighborhood. Great people. I think it's kind of an older couple that live here, but they actually dethroned me as the uh, Christmas-like champion of the neighborhood last year. And so again, this, this is another worthy opponent. Um, a little bit different than the way I like to do it, but you know, it, it definitely motivates me now because I thought I was going to be a three time Christmas light champion of the neighborhood, and now I've been dethroned. And so that'll be another video coming up here in the near future. But yeah, it's competition's fun, so we enjoy it. So I'm currently walking by the, the two-time defending champion of our neighborhood. And, and the first thing that I notice right away is, you know, they cut the Bermuda a little bit higher, probably about, it looks about three to four inches tall, which is not the way I like it. But, you know, it's all good. Um, it's rained a little bit, so there's, there's some seed heads around there. But one thing I do like that they do is they've got some really nice knockout roses, which I have as well, and those are... Those are great and they keep coming back. And then they have petunias, which are a very nice annual flower, get you a lot of nice color, um, which is probably important um, for the flare aspect for the yard of the summer. Um, so, and then one more thing that they have that I'm very jealous of is they, they've got a flagpole. So maybe that needs to be uh, something that I can get in the near future, but. You know, a good recon mission right there. I still feel confident. Um, so, you know, maybe we'll look into maybe getting a little bit more flair, maybe a flagpole at some point to really put us over the top. So just kind of made the turn, heading back to the house and passing my HOA president's house right here. So you know, I just gotta make sure that I mind my P's and Q's. And you know, sometimes this is a political game, right? I mean, you gotta, you gotta play your cards right. She's the one picking the people voting. So you know, there's definitely that aspect to it, absolutely. 
So yes, yes, me and my wife are on the HOA board. Yes, we're very nice. Yes, we hire her daughter to, to babysit our kids. And all this is, is part of the process of, of neighborhood domination. And I'm, you know what, I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed to admit that I'll, I'll do anything to win. As you walk your neighborhood, you, it is kind of fun to, to see who takes care of their yard and who has pride in their home. And, and uh, some of the ones that, that don't do, do I want to mow and take care of it sometimes? Yes, I have had thoughts about that. But I live by the, uh, the credo of Woody Harrelson and Kingpin. You don't mow another man's lawn, and I, that's not, I'm not about that. do that to some other guy so you know it is what it is so in my opinion that was a successful recon mission I learned a few things from a competition so I've got some work to do but anyway, if you're having fun watching our stuff, uh, like and subscribe. This whole thing is just an excuse for uh, me to hang out with Papa, my father-in-law, because uh, he's a pretty cool guy, and we both enjoy doing the yard. So anyway, thanks, guys, and uh, we'll see you soon.